What's going on everyone? Welcome and thank you for stopping in today. I have an unboxing to do for you guys, but not just any unboxing. I've been trying to get my hands on this knife for over a year and I am not kidding around. So we will go ahead and get right into this guy. I have been waiting and trying to get my hands on one of these knives for a long time. Well over a year, guys. And I am truly ecstatic. We'll unbox this guy with the new CJRB Warney Pyrite. And boy, is this a banger. Along with the original, the drop point. It is just as good, if not better, than the drop point. Absolutely love the CJRB Pyrite Warney. It is very thin and comfortable. A great EDC user knife. So we'll go ahead and dig into this guy. If you have ever wanted a knife so bad that you waited over a year to get one, then hit that subscribe button down below the video because we do that all the time around here. And while you're down there, why don't you give the video a thumbs up and leave me a little comment down below the video. <clears throat> I wasn't singing though, I promise. I seriously wasn't. If you classify that as singing, then I I really don't know what uh what you've been listening to. Um boy, they got this taped up real nice. Real nice. So I ordered this on last weekend. So I ordered this last weekend and on a Saturday. And it just got here today. Uh, so it took about almost a week to get here. And that's all right. It made it safe and it made it sound. So what is going on here? Ugh, I don't want to destroy the box. Come on, guys. I'm about to destroy it, though. At this point, I don't care. Oh, yes, let me in there. That's what she said. Ooh, look what... Oh, 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 do you know what... Ooh, ah, yes. And then we got the infamous candies. Yes, that is all for in the box. So we got a Vero sticker. We got some candies. The, the infamous Vero candies. And guys... Here we go. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to get my hands on this knife. Not only did I have one in my cart and bought one, an Urban EDC Supply, I think it was an exclusive to them about a year ago. I bought it. Didn't I get an email from Urban EDC Supply the next day telling me that they oversold them and they were going to have to refund my order. And I bitched about it. And I ended up getting a deal on an F5.5. And a free F5.5 coin. Which I absolutely love the F5.5 uh, now because of all that. But I wanted this ultimately. And... It seems like the case. Oh, you got to cut the bottom there. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. There we go. Oh, guys. This is also, by the way, this is new packaging from Vero. So not only do you get one patch, but you get two patches. That is awesome. So you can stash one. And then you can use one. That is awesome in my book. Vero has always had top-notch uh, packaging. He, Joseph Vero, is an awesome dude. 
uh, from what I know, and very intelligent. He makes designs a badass knife, and he he just does everything the right way, guys. So you get <clears throat> you get a COA card, Synapse XL, Vero Synapse XL. This is a third gen. We have a stone wash blade with the natural micarta scales, guys. Oh, you get a little, you get a little uh, Vero cleaning cloth there. So why don't we go ahead and I guess we can keep that stuff there. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this thing. Oh, it's so beautiful. I could have went with the black micarta. I could have went with like 20 different versions. And I ultimately decided on this one because I plan on using it. So I didn't want to go with something that the finish of the blade might get scratched up. So I went with a stone wash and I could have got carbon fiber, red G10, black micarta, natural micarta, or brass. And I decided to go with the natural micarta. Number one. Because I don't have a ton of natural micarta uh, knives. I have a few and that's about it. And the ones that I have had in the past, I didn't really care for the micarta itself. The look of some of them I liked. But I didn't really care for the feeling of the micarta. And I just knew that because of the Thick Boy version 1... The micarta from Best Tech was good. Uh, and I had a natural micarta set of scales for the Thick Boy from EMP EDC. And they were great. And I figured they only could get better. So I took a, a gamble. Knowing that I can buy different aftermarket scales anyway. But I took a gamble. And boy was I right. The micarta is very nice. And it looks it looks awesome guys so this is the synapse xl let's give it a flick oh yes so this is a bolster lock guys it barely fits on frame this thing is not small guys that's what she said but the action on this is phenomenal oh boy that's good guys Oh, holy mackerel. Ooh, that's so good. Oh, I absolutely love this thing. Look at the size. Oh, that's just awesome, guys. The size of this thing. If you've ever had a Axon or his, like, smaller size knives or even the, the regular size, this is just a beast and it's not overly big i'll pull out the the pyrite for just a quick you know so you can see how big it really is but oh it's so perfect for me i love this size knife and this is beautiful that stone wash came out perfect so you have a stone washed m390 drop point blade you have stone wash titanium bolsters natural micarta deep carry semi deep carry titanium pocket clip vero's signature pocket clip this is a bolster lock and i absolutely love bolster locks especially from best tech that is who oems all of vero's knives and they absolutely kill them uh especially his new generation uh generations of his models uh supposedly some of the first models had lighter detents but uh you know that's up for debate uh you know i don't know that for sure because i've never had one of the first gens of any of them so i can only go off what i heard but they must have been good enough to basically blow Vero off the map and put him in a different category because that's what has happened over the last couple years. Uh, 
Vero, Joseph Vero, has made a massive, massive imprint in the knife world, in the knife community. His designs are just so unique. Uh, you know, if you're in the community, the knife community, or the knife world, you know that this is a Vero without seeing a name, without seeing anything, just looking at this knife right here, the design language, everything about it is Joseph Vero to a T, and it is beautiful. Uh, the action, oh my gosh, it's so, so good, guys. You have a, basically, this is a Vero window cutout. That's what I call them. I mean, this is... This is his one of his other trademarks is this cutout. Now, sometimes it's on this side. Sometimes you have both on both sides. Uh, it just kind of depends on which model. And in this case, it's not a front flipper. It is a rear flipper. And oh my gosh, guys, it is just perfect. I haven't oiled this. I haven't touched it. Nothing, obviously. Uh, you do have a one-third titanium backspacer it has been stonewashed oh guys i gotta settle down so i definitely want to cut something but before we do that let's bring out its brothers so that is the axon frame lock by vero obviously and this is the impulse mini so you have the axon you have the Synapse XL, and then you have the Impulse Mini. So the Impulse Mini is not so mini. The regular sized Impulse is basically the same size as the Synapse XL. So now they do make a Mini Axon, which is a little smaller than this guy i also have the g10 axon liner lock and it is phenomenal as well but this is what i mean when you look at these knives you know that they are vero's the lines the design language just an amazing he has created and come out with an amazing catalog of knives and they are just spectacular. Uh, you know, I went from this guy right here to two to three very quickly. And uh, they are very hard to get. He has put a few models out since I got this guy, which was the last one I got. Uh, but I think one of them was an Axon drop, which I already have both. And I forget what the other one was, and I, I don't think I was able to pick it up. But uh, then I heard he was doing a run of these, and I knew I was going to wait and bide my time and get one of these. Uh, these aren't something that come around very often. Like I said, there hasn't been a drop of these for at least a year, so... It's good. I can just, I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh, yes. Best Tech ne doesn't, from what I know, Best Tech has never disappointed me with an OEM project. They haven't disappointed me, even with their budget knives. Uh, and I'm talking about fit, finish, edges, all of it. They have not disappointed me once yet. And this basically blows me away. This thing is absolutely stunning. I love it. I love the I love the the variation that I got. This thing is phenomenal. I am so stoked. We will definitely be doing a full overview of this guy. We'll do a disassembly, and of course, in the future, I will be doing a review of it. Uh, 
I'm going to carry this guy like there's no tomorrow. I absolutely love this thing. Take one last little look or put the video on replay, whichever your heart desires. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. If you're still here, I love you. If you're still here and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. All right. All right. Love you.